Please tell us your name, where you're from, and what do you do? My name is Thomas Stockton. I am from Keene, New Hampshire, and I am a student. Uh, I also work with uh, developmentally delayed individuals, but that is my kind of part-time thing. I'm mostly a student. Why do you choose Belize to volunteer? Um, I was pretty open to volunteering anywhere, and a broader view um, pointed me in the direction of Belize, and so I just went with their recommendation. How was the U.S. communication prior traveling? Um, it was very, very good, very uh, informative. I had a small little hiccup with um, my planning of dates and email communication was um, very efficient and everything went well. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? Uh, very friendly and helpful from my arriving to my departing. It was. Um, it was very, very great. I had no problems at all and there was always someone to answer any questions I ever had. What was a typical work day like? Um, it was, I feel like a pretty unique experience given I showed up right after a hurricane. So the initial work days were a lot of pick up and clean up from, um, from Hurricane Hurl, but um, you could be anything from cutting wood to painting playgrounds to communicating with the children and um, just a mixed bag of all sorts of things, really. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, I guess how easy the communication was, given English being the official language, although I learned a little bit of Creole and that was quite confusing. Um, but I think the stray dogs in, in Belize in general were probably the most shocking to me. There was there's a lot of stray dogs. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. Um, the accommodations were great. It was very cozy. Um, I think I could say it was nicer than my apartment in New Hampshire. Um, the meals were were simple but but good. It was, I'm a vegetarian so it was really great to have the kitchen be so um, helpful with, with serving me meat-free meals. So I thought that was that was really great. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, the initial hurricane um, relief was was the worst really. Um, it was difficult to see how much damage um, a hurricane could could have could, could do so it was um, that was a bit shocking. What type of donation can other volunteers bring for the program? Um, I think the best would probably be things from your hometown. The kids really like to see where other people are from and, um, and the places they're coming from, so things from your hometown, um, anything for the school or, you know, anything from a, a football to a set of art supplies, anything will be greatly appreciated. Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? I would do that for sure. Mm -hmm. Any tips for the future volunteers coming to Belize? Um, it's it's hot and humid, so dress light, bring sunscreen, and bring bug spray, but the bugs are pretty strong, so they don't really uh, listen listen well. Thank you for volunteering, Melissa. We hope to have you back with us soon. Thank you very much. I will surely be back.